Dawn or Dawn? It's actually Ms. Dawn Van Buren, but Marshall, you could call me Dawn. Dawn. Mm, it's your first time here. Who do you have here? Well, Marshall, I, uh, I have my adopted brother, Marty. He's in the audience, and uh, he, he, he's with some, some girl. I don't know. Marty, who's that girl that you're with? I, I, what, you don't even tell me who she is. You bring her to the game. Okay, I don't know who let's is. start. Really? Let's start. Category food. Here is your clue. Okay. I'm white inside and out. I can be a side or in the main course. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Okay, okay, wait, wait. I wish I could phone a friend. I could, I, I, where's Nancy's side check when I need her? She's my friend, I would phone her. All right, all right, all right, well, okay, I think I got this, okay. So what do you think? White rice in a Chinese takeout box. No. I am telling you, Chinese takeout. Is it white rice in a Chinese takeout box? Are you sure? Yes. This is your final answer. Yes. You're positive. Yes! For the win, is it Chinese takeout? <gasps> That's correct for us. <laughs> 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 Robert, take the talking ball. Take your stuff and get out. Okay, good. Shake it off. Good exercise. Now how does that make you feel? Now that you've heard the words. It's my worst nightmare. But you're still alive! The world didn't come crashing down. And that's the point. Everywhere you turn, you've been expecting these words to come hurtling at you, tearing your life, your your soul, your seven-year marriage. Thirteen years. Huh? Check your notes. I have unemployment, um, weight gain, in-laws moving in. Father Paul, what do you have? Uh, hair transplant, a sports car he can't afford, but she spends all the money. Gentlemen, their marriage is in shambles. It's more of a rough patch, really. <laughs> But you haven't bothered to ask the most basic question. How long have they been married? How long have you been married? 11 years in May. Oh. Carry on. Oh my god, thank you guys for coming today. I was so nervous. I think I'm still nervous. I can't. You I did can't. such a good job. I know, right, Marty? 40 grand. 40 uh, fucking uh, grand. I oh, can't and believe it. A trip to Malawi. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so so I'm such an ass. I am Dawn. Rachel, Hi. nice to meet you. <gasps> he never told me about you. He never told me about her. Huh? And with that look, I knew that my soul had been called. My life among the lay had ended. And it was my duty to be called to the clergy. Old habits had died, and new habits had been born in the mother abbess. I, I don't remember this. No one does. Earl wrote it. Oh. Rid of license, my ass. I am never going to be able to remember this. I coached my son in his Bible verse memorization contest when he was little. Oh, and did he win? No. I forgot to set the alarm and we overslept. Oh no. That's when I quit drinking. Still, what helped him was to think about the character, not the lines. Everyone knows this character. Everyone has seen this show. But you have to connect. Here, put your script down. Let's improv. Improv, improv, okay, yes. We worked together at St. James. Oh, the church job. Sweetheart, let me ask you a question. Ain't it like a little weird working at the church? I mean, come on. It has it's pluses. Pluses? Dawn, come on. Okay, can you see that the girls are talking here, Henrietta? All right, anyway, back to my point. Working at the church, Rachel. Don't it get like a little boring sometimes? I mean, <laughs> you know, I wish that it were. The things that happen there. Maybe I should go sometime. You know, after all, I can carry a tune. <clears throat> Lack of virgin! Oh, God. <laughs> what? You know what? Save it for the church, okay? Marty Magdalene. Well, anyway, I'm just happy to see that at least he's dating a woman, if you get my drift. Okay, I guess I struck a chord. What a. Uh, now a music joke? Huh? 
Never mind. Everywhere you turn, you've been expecting these words to come hurtling back at you in revenge. You've been looking for trouble, and it's preventing you from seeing your husband the way that you saw him 11 years ago. Oh, Robert, I love you. Barbara, I love you too. Great. Job well done, gentlemen. Robert, Barbara, enjoy the rest of your day. No, the rest of your lives. Till death do you part. <laughs> Wait, there's more. Oh, oh no. See? Here it comes. I can't handle it. Not today. Barb. Not today. Not, not today. Barb. I think I see a trend. Robert wants to speak, yet you, Barbara, are often afraid of his You've words. been speaking over him in hysterics as a way to shut him up because you're afraid of your own fears. Mm, maybe. But we've already addressed the worst possible thing that he could say, so you know that you can handle anything he brings to the table. That's very good. You have a great instinct. I've got good instincts too. I'm the only one who's even asked her how she feels this whole entire time. Thank you. I care about her feelings too. I just said I loved her. Okay, okay, everyone. Let Father Bart continue his thought. Let Father Bart continue. Let Father Bart do all the confessions. Just give him the church already. Here, there's a pen. Where does he sign? Oh my God, there is that photographer who happens to really like my style. He wants to photographate me. I have to go, excuse me. Oh, okay, actually, I'm gonna leave you guys. You're leaving? I can never get back to the city during Lent. Church takes up all of my time. I have to make the most of it while I'm in town. Wait, on. I cannot believe that you gave up all of this for Connecticut. It was for some guy, but don't get me started. Lesson learned there. Sweetheart, come yes. here, come here. Let me just tell you something. <laughs> when a man shows you his true colors, you have to believe it. That is a total <laughs> life class right there. Oh my God, oh okay, my God. Okay, one day when I have more time, we have got to talk. Yes, girlfriend. <laughs> mwah, mwah. Listen, we're gonna do our hair, and we're gonna dish. BFFs. Oh okay, that's a little gay, Marty. Yeah. It's a little gay, just a little, little gay. Okay. <laughs> All right, latex 505. All right. Yep. I'll catch you yeah. later. Now, I'm the sinner, your mother superior. Okay. Get me to take communion. Okay. You're the sinner. Okay. <sighs> Cup of salvation. Yes, yes. Oh, another soul has been saved. Oh, yes, I feel, I feel. Okay, good. What are you guys doing in here? We were told this room was available at 3 o'clock. Oh, of, of course. Look it's at okay. the time. We have something very important to do. Judith, you are a miracle worker. Thank of course, you. Of course. Father Paul, you should be ashamed. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry. That was completely uncalled for. How do you feel? I just... I'm under a lot of pressure. It's okay. I'm sorry. Robert, what were you going to say? Yes. Um, Barbara. Oh, oh God, you're back. Oh, sit down, oh. sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Barbara, I want to renew our vows. Will you marry me again? <laughs> hey, Rach. Um, just wondering where you are. Um, I've been sending you texts, but I haven't heard anything back from you. Hope you're okay. I am so sorry. Coffee ran late, and then I ran into my friend Ocean from Summerstock like 12 years ago. Ocean? <laughs> yeah, that's her name. She's crazy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, I was sending you texts, and you didn't respond. It, I am so sorry. My phone died. Oh. Anyway. All right, are you ready for latex? Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Warner. I'm here for the interview. Great, uh, thank you for coming. Come in.
Thanks again for the opportunity. Hopefully they have a plug. Hello, are you here for Latex Live? Uh, we're actually here to see a show. Ah, right this way. A few rules. Cameras and cell phones are allowed, I'm sorry, and encouraged. Uh, the official hashtag is Latex Live, and feel free to approach the artist at any point. Take selfies, but do not participate. You don't have to stay if you don't want to. I know it's weird. Uh, no, it's different, but I'll stay. It sounds like fun. Yeah. I love his stuff. It makes you ask a lot of questions. Like existential stuff? No, more like, what the hell? <laughs> but I love it. Here goes nothing. Oh no, it'll be something. Our choir is very close-knit. Um, we are more than just our voices. We're, we're people, and, and we care for one another. It's important that we blend not only musically, but also as a community. It's not uncommon for our uh, paid members to uh, convene with the parishioners outside of church. I thought I was just a ringer, hired for my musical expertise. Oh, I don't like that word. Our supplemental singers are considered family, but we value them just as much as we do our significant others. That sounds truly terrific. I'm not much of a socialite. I tend to keep to myself, but I'm here for the music. Well, I can see uh, from your resume that you have a great love for music. Uh, already explained to us about your extensive uh, record collection and uh, uh, musical instruments. I'm wondering, have you ever sung? Sang? Is it, is it sang or sung? Sang. Sang? I don't know. Now they both sound wrong. <laughs> Semantic satiation. That's what it's called when you say a word repeatedly to the point that the word loses all meaning. Oh, okay. Well, I'll rephrase. Uh, have you ever been in a choir? No. Oh. My acute agoraphobia has caused me to avoid stepping out of my comfort zone for most of my life. Do you think you feel comfortable singing in front of an audience or leading a sectional at rehearsal? Music is my security blanket. When I hear the A440 of an orchestra tuning, or the crackle of a needle first touching a record, it's like the world starts to make sense again. Have you ever felt lost and then found that special someone who made you feel whole again? Yes, I have found that someone. You have? Yes. I've never felt that for someone, but music makes my life worth living. Well, that's very moving. Mm. Uh, I think that we've heard enough for now. I brought my ukulele. Oh, that's great, but um, this is more of a meet and greet. Yes. Uh, we will yeah. discuss, and, and then we'll get back to you. into like rock gospel. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the night. Take my hand, precious Lord. Lead me on. Ooh, that took it out of me. Oh, it must be hard just sitting there. Just sitting there? Oh, and I suppose you were just standing there. Well, no. Well, yes. I don't know. Is that is that part of it? 
I'm just kidding. Take it easy. I'm teasing her. <laughs> well, she said there was some juxtaposition. Oh, I was kidding. It's all interpretation. I create the blanks. You fill them in. For his last show, he took a dress shirt, soaked it in water, and hung it up to dry. It was like six hours. <laughs> <laughs> he just watched stuff dry? Yeah. You know, they say every artist goes through a dry phase. I simply turned my dry phase into an art. He's a true artist. Oh, I am thirsty. <laughs> so we get a drink? Absolutely. Oh, please. Uh, well, actually, Rachel and I need to head back to the train. What? You got work tomorrow? You debuting a new hymn? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have work, but it's not church. I'm a teacher. So get a sub. Oh, I think you have food poisoning. I really shouldn't. They have a big exam tomorrow. Well, the sub will just sit there while they take the test. I shouldn't. We should really get going. Well, just one drink. No, I have to go. I'll see you on Sunday. It's nice to meet you all. Was it something I said? Well, that was... They were inspired, inspired. What a blessing. Thank you. I will let you deliberate. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I will go outside. Uh, yes, after a performance like that, we have a, a lot of things to weigh. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll call you if, if, if we're going to make an offer. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks again. Gospel. Through the storm. 